I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this game, there is a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. That way you can learn the fundamentals. In this exercise, we're going to focus on speed. Making quick decisions during the Charleston has many ven venabits. Venabits. Ooh, venabits. Not. Three, two, one. Yeah, snarky. Three, two, one. No, I don't like that. Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solid. No, what am I doing? Oh. Mm. Three, two, one. I'm going to play. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called random pulls because we're gonna pull 28 and 27 random tiles, respectively. And then we're going to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That is the first step to picking a hand. Well, you're playing two hands, so that doesn't, well, okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. How do I say that? Siamese Mahjong is very flexible, but it is challenging. Practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. And if you have strips of paper, of course you're gonna have strips of paper. Oh my gosh. Uh, three, two, one. I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong, this is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. It is still based on the American Mahjong card, but the rules have been modified, so you play two hands at one time. Okay, is that redundant? Yes! Three, two, one. Siamese Mahjong is all about timing. You really got to... Three, two, one. Siamese Mahjong is a great, no, three, two, one. Playing solitaire is a great way to practice decision-making. Decision, decision-making. Oh my goodness, let's see. I didn't like any of that, okay. And we're getting a rash, what in the world? What is going on there? Oh my gosh. Oof. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. What is going on here? It's sticking straight. What? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Sticking straight out. What in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's just a little distracting, isn't it? Okay. Where's my hair and makeup person when I need them? Yeah, that would be me. Okay. One man band here. One woman, woman show. One woman show. Not a one man band, because I'm a woman. All right, look at those. Okay. Betting can be a challenge because you never know what the player is gonna do. 
they're kind of a, what do you call it? A wild card? No. A wild horse? What do you call it? Let me find out. Is it a wild horse when you never know what they're going to do? I don't know. Let's see if I can get my vernaculars right, if that is even the right word. Vernacular, I don't even know. Vernacular. The language or dialect spoken by an ordinary people in a particular region. No. It's really more of a saying. Okay, let's see. Is it a wild horse? Wild horse. Um, they're a wild card. Is it a wild card or a wild horse? Bet on a wild... Whoops. Bet on a wild horse. Bet on a wild horse. I guess that kind of makes sense because if you if you do horse racing and there's a wild horse and you bet on it and it wins, or you never know if they're going to win or not because they're wild, unpredictable. Players are unpredictable, so that's the deal. A crazy horse race? No. Okay. Okay, whatever. Just don't use it. I have no clue. Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to this game, there's a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. In this game of solitaire, we're going to add a house rule. Uh, hmm. Tissue. No tissue. I have no tissue. Why do I always forget the tissues? <clears throat> Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to this version, there is a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. In this game of solitaire, we're going to kick it up a notch and add a house rule. Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you are new to this game, there's a link in the video description below to a lesson playlist. In this game of solitaire, we're going to kick it up a notch and add a random house rule. Let's see if that works. Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I don't get this lighting situation here. Okay. Yeah. Is that bad? Hmm. That's better. Three, two, one. Straw. We got a four crack. Four, five, four, five. No jokers here. Here. So we 
only have two single words. I'm filming. I'm sorry. Why is this locked up now? Seriously? Are you kidding me right now? Testing, testing, testing the mic and other peripherals. Are we good? Are we good? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay. Here we go. Nothing. We got nothing. No tables. Oh, there we go. Okay, return to my game. What is going on? I'm really confused. Let's see, which... I'm very, very confused at the moment. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Okay, all right, well now we're behind the times here. So, in this strategy theory session at Mahjong Time, we're gonna be playing Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I am going to click or hold my shift key down and click on the tiles to sort them. Hopefully. Let's sort. Okay, we're having lots of shenanigans at the moment. All right, all right. Lots of technical difficulty here. So, I have six seconds to make a discard. Um, but this technical trouble is really difficult. Let's discard the nine dot. Let's see if we can discard a nine dot. Nine dot, nine dot, nine dot, please. Why I cannot even discard. This is very, very strange. It better not discard a joker. Okay, I can't do anything. And the problem persists. Because there is a table supposedly at this table. Here we go. This is looking a little better. We launched... Okay. Let's wait for this timer and then I'll start. Maybe when we get some tiles, I can start. Having tiles would be nice. No tiles. No tiles! What? What is going on? All right, well, there's always something that can be learned. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers. I guess it would help if you had tiles because you got to have tiles in order to have keepers.